Okay, another back to basics. Um, let's talk about this circuit. We've looked at this before uh, when I talked about the um, uh, EQ kit. Is that right? How's it? How's it? EQ? I think it's EQ kit uh, power supply. It had a, a circuit something like this to generate some voltages. Anyway, um, so we have um, AC coming in and it goes through this uh, capacitor, and then it gets rectified and ends up being a positive voltage here. And uh, I was a little sloppy in my last explanation, but uh, this diode makes sure that there is some DC level here. If there's no DC level, then this thing can kind of just go everywhere. So this kind of just makes sure that there is a DC level and it, and it, uh, it clamps it to a particular voltage here. And then we get some voltage out here. So let's go ahead and uh, I've actually built up this little circuit uh, right here. And so let's go ahead and measure some points, okay? We're gonna measure the, the incoming, we're gonna measure here, and we're gonna measure here. So these three points, incoming, the clamp voltage, and then the output voltage, okay? And so I have a, a, a voltmeter here, and we are measuring AC volts, and I've got all kinds of really bad reflections in the camera. I guess that's okay there. Um, so we have a one volt uh, peak to peak, oh, I see. I have to be standing in the right spot for the uh, for the light to be right. Anyway, we have one volt peak to peak coming in, and one volt peak to peak is a sine wave, and the crest of the sine wave and the trough of the sine wave is one volt across there. And an RMS value of the peak to peak is going to be the square root of uh, 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 what's it? One over the square root of two. It's 0 0.707, right? It's half of half of that, right? So 0 0.707. So we're re measuring 0 0.707 volts AC coming into the circuit, okay? And so that's the AC coming in here. Now let's take a look at the AC coming out of here, okay? So let me move the uh, let me move the probe over, and let's look at the AC here. And it's the same. It's 0 0.707, okay? And so. Nothing going on here. We have uh, AC here, we have AC here, but it should be DC shifted, okay? So this might be referenced around ground, and this one's gonna be referenced around something else. So let's measure the DC voltage here, see if it's ground or negative or positive. Let's measure the DC voltage there, all right? So all we have to do is change our voltmeter to DC. So it's 0.58, so that's a diode drop, okay? 0.58. So we have 0.58, let's write that down. We have 0 0.707 AC, and we have 0 0.707 AC, and we have 0 0.6 DC, right here, right? And then let's rectify that, okay? So I'm going to move my probe over to here, and we get 1.13, okay? So let's write that down, 1.13, okay? All right, and so we have um, point, I mean, 1.13 volts coming out here, and that's due to the fact that we have one volt peak to peak going here, so we have actually one volt available. We're pushing that up by 0.6 volts, so we actually have 1.6 volts at the, at the crest, and then we have a diode drop that's, that's, that's uh, subtracting 0.6 from that, and uh, so we're coming down to 1.13. Anyway, uh, that's how this works, okay? Now, um, that's not so important. You know, we're gonna get some, some voltage by, by, doing, by doing this, okay? And let's do another one. Let's do a, uh, an exact same circuit, all right? And so we're gonna take our AC and we're gonna bring it down here. So these are gonna be running in parallel, all right? And, um, we are going to have all the same values, all right? But instead of this diode going to ground, I'm gonna do a tricky thing. I'm gonna take this voltage and I'm gonna put it here, all right? So now what are we gonna have? We're gonna have 1.13 volts here, all right? So then let's measure this voltage here and see what we have. All right, so what do we have? We have 1.6. So 
So we have 1.13 plus 0.6, and we're getting about 1.6. Okay, that's about right. That's DC. Let's look at AC. We should still have 0.707 AC, and we do. We still have 0.707 AC. So now here we have 0.707 AC, but here we have 1.6 volts DC. All right. So what do you think we're going to get out here? Okay, so let's move the... Uh, move the voltmeter over to here, and we get 2.1. 2.1 volts DC. So, what did we just make? We made a voltage doubler circuit. We started out with one volt peak to peak, and we ended up with two volts DC. That's pretty cool. And this is how a doubler circuit works. It, it generates one voltage, and then it uses that to offset the second one. And you can imagine we can put it in another stage and we can and we can go up again and put it in another stage. We can go up again. And so, yeah, that's how it works. So it's a cute little circuit. Um, you'll see it used sometimes. And there's different configurations to this that makes maybe lower chip, you know, lower part count and stuff. But the basic idea is this, that you um, you go ahead and rectify one signal to get a voltage. And then you use that to offset the second one, which rectifies the voltage, and it, it increases it from 1 volts to 2 volts. And we only have 1 volt peak to peak coming in. Let me draw that in here so the, the peak to the peak voltage is 1 volt. Anyway, hope that was fun. I had fun doing it. I had never actually built one. Uh, I, I've used them, but I've never actually built one and kind of measured the different points and how, how everything how everything goes. So yeah, it was interesting. Anyway, one volt equals two volts.